We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Gianni Patrick Maggio is here from Citrus and Salt. We have ahi tuna ceviche on the menu. The good thing is, is uh, Gianni, he, he knows the area because he went to Johnson & Wales. I so, did. It so was it's, a it's good to have you back here. Great part of my life. Yeah, it is. A, it's a great school. It's yeah. a great school. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming down because the yeah, restaurant for itself, me. just so everyone knows, is in Boston. It's in Boston, yeah. In Boston. Uh, we're located in Back Bay, 142 Berkeley Street. Okay. Um, but we're in a prime little location that's for great. Uh, business. So. Yeah, that's great. All right, so for, for anyone who hasn't made this before, you may have gone to a restaurant and had it made. What do you, what do you need to, to actually put together a, a great ceviche? Um, so there's an array of different ingredients you can use. It's not solely on one thing. Uh, but traditionally, you just have a nice, clean, uh, delicious ceviche. Mm -hmm. uh, I tend to like red onions, uh, green jalapenos, red bell peppers, radish, scallions, and cilantro. Okay. Um, lime juice is always a must. You gotta have lime juice in a, in a solid ceviche. Right, and, th and that also helps uh, with the with the tuna that you have chopped up. Yeah. It almost like cooks it itself, yeah, it right? Yeah, it is. It's a, a type of cooking. It's a, an acidic style of cooking. Uh, the longer you let it sit, the longer it's gonna cook. Mm -hmm. um, so you generally wanna cook it for, or give it 30 minutes before you serve it, and that'll be a perfect acidic cook for it. Right. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much. That's it. You also yeah. have some some avocado that you're gonna. Yep, you're that's gonna just put kind in. of like a side piece to the dish. Right, that you'll put in with it too. And yep. I know you mix it together. Almost put it in a small little uh, small little plate and just eat it. Yeah, either so a non-reactive right? metal bowl or a ceramic bowl. You just give it a good mix. Um, that way, none of the acid eats into like a plastic bowl or anything like that. Oh, I didn't even know um, that. Yeah, so it just keeps everything clean, bacteria-free, and delicious. Okay, so. all right. So we will put this together. We'll also talk about the, the restaurant if you are headed up to Boston, and maybe you want to make ceviche, uh, ceviche in, your, uh, in your kitchen as well. Back to you. Will's We're, in the kitchen. Take it away, bud. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Gian Patrick's here from Citrus and Salt Ahi Tuna. Uh, ahi uh, Tuna Ceviche is what we're, uh, we're going to make. All right, what do you want to do? All right, so uh, to get started, what, uh, you generally want to give, like I said earlier, uh, the tuna a couple minutes in the, uh, the acid, whether mm -hmm. it be lime, lemon, orange, grapefruit, whatever you want to use. Um, so we'll get that started right now. Um, usually I like to, again, I like to tuna marinate first before I add the, uh, the vegetables. Uh, the vegetables will do their own flavor on their own completely. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just take the tuna. Which you cubed up. Yep, I already cubed that up. You want to give your uh, your fish, whatever you're using, especially if you're going out on the boat in the Cape one day, catch some nice tuna, break it down. You always want to kind of give it a little bit of a freeze just to make sure all that extra bacteria is taken gone, care of right. and gone out of there. And a lot of people who will go fishing, because trust me, I've been on a boat and they, they did it, they will chop up tuna right there and just yeah, make it while uh, you're out on the on the water. I, again, I'm not against that at all, but I, personally I like to give it a little freeze just mm -hmm. to make sure that's yeah, definitely you know, taken care of. Don't fall um, it. But I have been on a boat a couple times and mm -hmm. hey, why not? You know, when in Rome give kind of situation. Uh, and, and how much citrus do you need to add to make sure that it's fine to eat? Um, really, it's, it's preference, you know. the. That's why I like to, thank you, yeah. um, I like to marinate outside of the vegetables so the vegetables don't kind of absorb any of that acid. It's oh. just the tuna itself. Right. Um, just hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Seasoning. That's it. And you said the optimum, you know, about 30 minutes is probably. 30 minutes before serving is your, that's the wheelhouse you want to be in. All right. Um, so yeah, just give that a good mix. And then we'll and just we'll let that sit for for a little while to make sure that yeah. it's, that it. And you can actually already kind of see it's turning a little opaque, and that's mm -hmm. the acid cooking the, the tuna a little okay. bit. So it went from that nice ruby red to a little right flattened out. Yeah, you can see it inside, um, inside of it. But that's that's a good sign. That means you're doing the right oh, thing. Okay. Um, so we can set that on the side right there. All right. So we'll put this over here. We'll let this sit for a little bit, and then I know you've got they have the other ingredients that we can that we can mix in and put this together. Yep. And we'll uh, we'll also talk about the uh, the restaurant as well that's located in uh, in uh, in Boston as well. So we'll put that together in just a little bit. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Chef Gian Patrick Maggio is here from Citrus and Salt. We have an ahi tuna ceviche on the menu. He is a J. Wu grad and is thrilled to be back here in Rhode Island. Let's chop. Boom. Let's chop. Thanks for having me, guys. Please. Please. You've done well for yourself. You need yeah. the studio audience to hold their applause so the man can finish <laughs> plating. Where are we in the preparation process? You've been hard at work in here, sir. So. Yeah, it's, it's taking some time here. Uh, but we have our tuna is nicely marinated right now in the lime juice, salt, and pepper. 
So we can go ahead and just start adding some of right. these fine vegetables that we have. You know um, what I love? The vibrant colors just yeah, popping right out of the TV that screen. That comes along with what we do at the restaurant. If uh, you come in and see the, the decor of the restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, Erica Dickerson did a great job designing the place. Cool. Uh, so we just try to make our food as vibrant as the restaurant. Maybe we she could do something about my living room. <laughs> that's at home. I, would, I would give her a call <laughs> if you need it. But that's not why we're here today. <laughs> For sure. Um, but yeah, so you're just going to add some of the vegetables. I personally like to try and get my cuts on the vegetables as small as possible. That way everything kind of mixes around a little bit better um, and you can get each piece of vegetable in every bite. Right, cool. Um, so yeah, just adding as much as you want. Now I know you're a trained chef. Do you do you chop that yourself or do you, do you food processing? No, I, everything is chopped by hand. Could you? Sure. Uh, yeah. And he yeah. has all 10 of He's his fingers too. Yeah, they're still there. Pretty good job. They're hanging You're in there. You're a brave man. <laughs> uh, so I've gone ahead and added the red onions, the red peppers, jalapeno, radish, adding some cilantro now. Cool. Um, and yeah, everything else is in there right now. In yep. And you work all those flavors together. Yep. There's nowhere for the flavor to hide. I love it. Now you yeah. said yeah, we have the, the avocado here, but that's... You yeah, that's, that so for that's going to be a, a little surprise at the end. All right. Um, but well, yeah, now you're giving it away. Got to get it. Hey, not yet. <laughs> um, so I have this empty bowl right here. We're going to throw the avocado in that. I thought he was going to do magic. <laughs> yeah, and boom, done. And now there are three bowls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, wow, you're good. But I'm going to throw some lime juice into this one, just like I did with the tuna. Um, give everything a nice press. These are going to bounce around on you a little bit. Yep. Um, but this is honestly just an extra texture flavor um, to the entire dish. Um, just to give it a nice little velvety finish. You can already smell the citrusy aroma. Yeah, it's really it. nice. I and can't wait to sample tell this. Tell everyone again, because you were saying it before, why you should do it in a metal bowl as opposed to some something plastic, especially yeah, with the raw so tuna. Plastic and runa, uh, runa. Plastic and wood bowls, um, generally they'll absorb the juices or like the, the lime juice or the kind of the runoff, the blood of the tuna. Right. Um, that's kind of not what you want. Um, and then it'll hold the bacteria. So what you don't want. Yeah, it'll definitely that ruin the bowl. Uh, right. Ruin the bowl for life, pretty much. Um, so I'm gonna hit that with some more salt and some pepper. Very nice. Let's talk. Remind everyone where you're located. What we need to know. Uh, so we are located in. Uh, Back Bay, Boston area. Mm -hmm. uh, 142 Berkeley Street is our exact address. Um, so that's all set for well, now. Well, you know, my brother works up in that neighborhood. <laughs> and I've been coming up with excuse after excuse for not going up there and checking yeah. out the new... Now I don't have one. Yeah, I've got to come see you, so I'm stuck going to visit him. Well, at least you'll get some good food out of it. That's there. right. So I can yeah. make it work there for me. Um, so yeah, right now, we'll take the bowl. Um, whatever kind of bowl you want to use is fine. You don't have to use a bowl. You can use a plate. Yep. There's not really much going on. I'm going to take some of this smashed up avocado here, awesome. place it right on the bottom of the plate, push it down there. Very yeah, cool. As we wrap, wrap up here, we got about 30 seconds left, but anything, any final touches, things we need to know? Or? Not really. You're just going to kind of throw everything together, great. just plate it like that. <laughs> Good as that look. Garnish it with some scallions, and boom, you have a... Boom, and you're done. Ahi tuna ceviche. Nice Speaking to have you. Speaking of boom, thanks for being here, buddy. Nice to have you. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming in. From Citrus and Salt, of course. If you'd like the recipe or to find even more information about that lovely establishment, make your plans to go visit. I will be doing so very soon. Just visit us at roadshow.com.